Li Ningning and Xu Wei took a year out of their university and took what many thought was a brave step, traveling to Zimbabwe. They have both been here for almost eight months teaching Chinese at the Confucius Institute in Harare. There is a growing demand amongst locals to learn Chinese language and culture, and that has kept both Li and Xu busy. The people here are very friendly, and you know, more and more uh, people here want to learn Chinese, and I'm happy that I can help more and more people to know about my language and the culture, and that can, I think, can contribute a lot to the friendship between two countries. Like the Chinese, Zimbabwean students are keen to sing and dance, and that's what's helped to break down barriers and bring together two previously foreign cultures. But it's not all work and no play. Sometimes we will get gathered with our friends from, um, uh, from other groups and um, have fun together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Many more Chinese nationals have blended in well here. Hundreds run thriving businesses, and the Zimbabwean economy is benefiting from the resultant job creation, transfer of technology, and expertise. The benefits flow both ways. The two student teachers have learnt as much as they have taught, especially about creating a balance between work and play. In China, we are always in a rush, and uh, uh, you know it's very competitive in China. But here, uh, one thing I learned is that you should slow down and enjoy the life. <laughs> That's all I learned. And they are certainly taking every opportunity to do so. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.